Welcome to Grand Prairie Update. I'm Terry Briggs. And I'm Don Johnson. Here's what's happening in your city. Thanksgiving weekend means the return of Prairie Lights at Lynn Creek Park on Joe Pool Lake. The city's award-winning Holiday Light Spectacular features a two-mile drive-through that is lined by nearly five million lights and includes hundreds of all-new displays in all shapes, sizes, and themes. It is over 150 to 60 new displays. Um, we have 12 lands. They all vary. It changes every year, so each land's a little different. And as always, visitors also have the chance to stop and get out of their vehicles at the Holiday Village an indoor-outdoor experience highlighted by its state-of-the-art laser light show. And the holiday magic walk through forest, where young and old alike can enjoy a stroll through dozens more lighted displays. There are also carnival rides, a gift shop, food and drinks, and even the chance for that photo opportunity with Santa. Prairie Lights is open nightly at 6 p.m. through New Year's Day. For cars, it's $25 on weekdays, $35 on weekends, and there are also special group rates. For more information, log on to prairielights.org or call 972-237-8100. Families in need are getting some help this Thanksgiving from Grand Prairie United Charities. Some more, uh? The nonprofit agency is handing out care packages with turkey and all the trimmings to more than 600 families. We put in uh, stuffing, uh, corn, green beans, sweet potatoes, cranberry sauce, instant potatoes. Uh, we also give them a turkey. Uh, we will give them extra items like dishwashing liquid, uh, toilet paper, air fresheners, uh, night lights from TXU Energy. Uh, the more in the family, the more items, the more food items that they receive for their food basket. Blue Boss says her organization is already collecting food for Christmas meals and could use some help with canned goods. Canned corn, canned green beans, uh, macaroni and cheese, stuffing, instant potatoes, tea or coffee, cake mix, frosting, uh, cookie mix, uh, anything that you would have for Christmas dinner is what we like to put in the boxes. Food donations can be dropped off at United Charities during business hours. For more information, go online at gpuc.org or call 972-262-2014. You have a happy Thanksgiving. Here's another way to help local charities. Buy the latest edition of the Grand Prairie City Ornament. The 2016 edition is a tabletop display handmade by Rebecca Jensen, the wife of Mayor Ron Jensen. It sells for $10 and all the proceeds go to Grand Prairie Charities. The 2016 ornament is available at City Hall, the Main Library, the Wormack Library, the Summit, and the Tourist Information Center. If you're wondering why the Barden Road Bridge over State Highway 360 is closed, here's the deal. In early November, the bridge was severely damaged when a trailer hauling propane tanks caught fire. For safety, the span was closed to traffic between Grand Prairie and Arlington. According to the Texas Department of Transportation, engineers are testing the structure to determine what repairs are needed to allow traffic back on it. Officials say the test results are expected soon, and after that, TxDOT will move forward with a repair plan and make the details public. That's it for this edition of Grand Prairie Update. Hope you'll join us again next time.